Hey, this is Dr. Yates in Chicago. We're just gonna go through a couple things that I think are important. As you know, we always show videos because with videos, you cannot, what Robin, this is Robin, what can't you do on a video? Can't yeah. Photoshop. Photoshop, that's right. You cannot Photoshop on a video. And all the time you'll see on these websites where all the hair is looking like, you know, nothing to this, to that. Photoshopping is a wonderful thing. We don't Photoshop. So today we have one of our great patients, Rick. And this is Rick here. And some people might say, they look at him and they say, oh, he's that actor on all those shows. But uh, Rick, are you an actor? No, I'm not. He's, he's not an actor, but he looks like an actor. Um, so Robin, I have some of his pictures here. This is Robin. Robin is head of uh, human services and medical quality and social services and dining services here at our practice. So this is Robin. So Robin, why don't you coach us all up and let us know how many grafts did Rick have and when did he have them? So as head of dining services, I can say, no, I'm a, I'm a registered nurse and um, Rick is one of our favorite patients. He had a FUE procedure about nine months ago. He had about a little bit over 2,000 grafts. Um, he has great donor hair, so he's a great patient. But one of the things to note is that Rick has really taken responsibility for his genetic hair loss. He did platelet-rich plasma the day of his surgery, which is, I think, a huge impact on growth and that's PRP. For everybody, that's PRP, platelet-rich plasma. Yep, so he did that. He's also religious about doing the laser cap, so he does laser therapy. So he's really active in helping his hair grow. Um, the hair transplant's gonna grow regardless, as you can see. You'll see it here in a minute when we show you some pictures. But he's also helping his other hair that's uh, miniaturizing over time with this genetic process. So that's getting stronger at the same time as his hair transplant hair is growing in, and it's looking really good. Well, let's, let's see. First, let's see what he used to look like. First, short to Rick, just make sure that's him. That's me. Then we're not mixing up charts, okay? So let's see. Let me, now let me. See that, Lily? So now let's take a look at his hair, okay? So are we kind of focused in here, Lily? Okay, now I want you everyone to focus in here. So we did FUE procedure, 2,000 grafts to the front the front and the mid scalp. The front is from the hairline to about where the vertex will start. So it's basically two thirds of the, the frontal two thirds of the scalp. So you can see it's not even nine months and he has great growth. I always you know, do take my comb and I can feel the resistance. His hair looks natural. You know, if anybody saw him on the street, they would not say he had a hair transplant. So his donor, he has a lot more donor in the back. He has his hair cut short. Um, I think he's headed in the right direction at not eight or nine months. He has about 70% of what he's going to experience as far as growth, new growth. There is going to be more growth, so that's going to be even better. So I know we've talked a lot here, Rick, but what do you think about the whole thing looking at these pictures? Is, does this kind of look at that's him before? We always take a picture after we place the graphs in so we can see when they come back exactly where we place the graphs so we don't have to guess because sometimes. If one area doesn't grow as well or something, we can always look back at our photo and say, well, maybe we didn't place as many graphs there, this and that. So looking at this map, we can see that we kind of focus really hard in this front because especially you have like a divot in the middle. Mm -hmm. Like here's this picture before. In the middle of his scalp, he had like an opening, like a landing strip right in the middle. So we kind of focused in there and you can see that the fruits of our labor have paid off. So. Rick, what do you think about the whole thing from start to finish? Were you scared? Were you skeptical? Uh, I, I kept looking around. I kept going, watching a lot of your videos and, and doing some homework as long as I uh, as long as I could. And the only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. So honestly, uh, it's been great. Your office has been great. Uh, you're very professional in here, and it's uh, no, nothing intimidating about the process at all. So. Great, great. Let me ask you this: Has anyone said? <clears throat> One, does your hair looks different. Two, did you do anything? Did anyone say anything like that? There, there's, there's some people that are trying to figure out what's, what's different about me. I really don't uh, tell them because, like, for the first few months, I was wearing a baseball cap just so it wouldn't be obvious. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, hey, you've been coloring your hair, or mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, they really like notice it. Different about you, and I, I haven't made it really public. Good, you don't need to, because so nobody can tell. They, they can't tell. And don't I, make it public. And I always shave my uh, my hair down with a clip of down with a one or. Do a you hat. do your own hair? No, I don't do my own hair, but my barber is like, oh wow, you know, I 
What's your barber think of us? Because I'm sure they've seen a lot of hair transplants in the past, right? The, my my barber's been I've been with my barber for about 15 years, mm -hmm. and, and you know, he's like he never usually take off much off the top, and it's, now he comes with it, and it looks really good. Good, good. So this is kind of a usual scenario for us. This isn't something that normally doesn't happen. It always works. The question is, how well does it work? And that usually depends on a couple things. Number one, the donor's everything. The type of hair that a patient has, how much donor do they have? And so when you look on the internet, you look at different hair transplants, even on our site, some people say, oh, I like what you did here. Oh, that looks terrible, you messed up. It's not that we messed up, okay? We do kind of the same thing every time, but it's like painting a picture. Depending on the canvas, meaning the donor, you can only do so much. So every patient is different, and we kind of optimize that patient. Now, Rick has a lot more donor hair, that we can work to thicken this up or go back in the vertex or you know he has a lot of options but it's all based on your donor hair so when you come in and you say you want it all filled in that's wonderful i want all mine filled in too but it's always going to go down to your donor hair what kind of donor hair hair do you have um, and we don't want to waste donor hair am i missing anything no Rob? no okay so rick i want you to make sure you tell the fellas that don't be scared because we see all these people come in all the time they say i have 10 guys watching me you know and i tell you of all the guys who have said that nobody's their friends have not come in because if you're watching somebody that means you're a chicken and you're never going to do it because they're basically as people said two types of people in life people that do and people that watch so if you're a watcher just be content being a watcher don't say you're going to do it because you're watching somebody else right that's or right just come in or don't be a watcher, be a doer. There's nothing to be afraid of. Who, who wouldn't want more hair? We just did a commercial about balding gracefully. It's overrated. See you soon. We're in Chicago. Come see us. Thanks.